My name is Christiana. and welcome to my channel Black Bag Bananas. I've literally just woken up off the night bus. I'm so tired. I don't even know what time it is. 8 a.m.? 7 a.m.? Something like this. And I'm in a tuck tuck. <laughs> Good old tuck tucks. This guy is taking me to Selena. It's gonna cost 10 soles. Uh, I need to wake up. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no sueltes aquí, ¿eh? primera. Sí. Juan. Juan. Ya, acelera. That was my first time trying to ride in a tuk-tuk or trying to drive a tuk-tuk. I've never done that before, but there's a first time for everything, especially when you've just woken up at a night bus. Okay, sorry, but how nice is this hostel? How can it even be called a hostel? I mean, it's a Selena. We know I love Selenas. And you know what? I was really, really umming and ahhing about staying in this Selena because of the price. I am paying somewhere between 50 and 55 pounds per night for a dorm bed here. I think it's like a six bed dorm. I think that's the most expensive hostel dorm bed I've ever paid for in my life. However, I received many recommendations for this Selena, both from Peruvians and from foreigners who have stayed here. I saw the pictures. I already know I love a Selena. I already know the Wi-Fi is going to be great. This is one of my last destinations in Peru and I thought, you know what? Let's just treat myself. Let's treat myself to a hostel which is way above the budget. <laughs> But I'm, now I'm here, I'm so happy. And it's also just really nice that obviously I haven't checked in yet because I'm here early in the morning and obviously they're just letting me use all the facilities already. Coffee! We love that about a Selena. So I've just ordered myself a coffee. And I'm a happy girl. Do you know what? I actually thought I might just relax for the next three days in here in Selena, but already looking at the activities that you can do here, you can scuba dive. I might do a scuba dive. There's also like a sunset boat party going on tomorrow and I'm like, well, I don't want to miss out. <laughs> it only happens on Saturdays and tomorrow is a Saturday. So I might do that as well. Oh, I think it's going to be a good few days. Oh, look at that. Got my, myself some fresh ceviche. Absolutely stunning. I've just arrived in my room. Look at this. This is like a massive bon suite with a toilet. I guess there's probably a shower in there as well. There's like hanging up space. I do not know what's through there. There's a full length mirror. It's a six bed dorm, which looks like this. And there's some, some beds around there as well. And this is the balcony with the view of the pool, which is really cool. Well, what's not so cool is that I have a top bunk. That feels criminal for this price but alas it's just the luck of the draw you can't predict these things i try i always try to check in as early as possible to try and have the best luck of getting a bottom bunk but alas it was not possible today that's okay i'll get over these things do you know what sometimes i need a little bit of humbling sometimes i need a little bit of something which is just going to pull me down a peg because that's what backpacking's like that's the realities of it so i'm going to unpack my bag a little bit 
here and then I'm gonna go into the town because they don't have laundry here which feels a bit strange so I need to go into the town to drop off my laundry okay big shame I can't do the sunset boat party anymore because there's like an election this weekend which means that you can't buy alcohol from today which is Friday and then all of Saturday and all of Sunday and so they moved the boat party they're not doing it tomorrow anymore they're doing it today but I've already missed it I didn't know they didn't tell me that's so sad but that's okay I think it's good for me to have a bit of a detox I actually think I've been drinking too much alcohol so do you know what not mad a little bit mad but not mad <laughs> pros and cons anyway i'm walking into town to try and do my laundry because for some reason they don't have a laundry thing at the selena maybe it's just not functioning at the moment so i'm gonna go to town to try and get my laundry done and also go visit a dive shop to see if i can do some diving in mancora we'll see Good morning, buenos dias. My dorm mates are so, so fun. I'm so sad that two of them are leaving today. Uh, we had a lot of fun last night. We were just like dancing in the room. We went out for a nice little Italian dinner. They're all Peruvian. So I was really, really practicing my Spanish. And you know what? I think I've said this before, but I really felt like I'm a lot better after a few drinks. So I feel fluent. I'm just absolutely going for it. Don't know if everything that I say makes sense, but we're managing to converse. So I think it's going well. And also they have the same taste in music as me. Like they like the Latin music, but they also were loving a little bit of Little Mix, Britney Spears. We were having a great time. Anyway, I managed to have a little bit of willpower to say that I wasn't going to go to the hostel bar after all of this, even though there was a massive party going on. So it was super loud, but... I did say I had to go to bed because I have to be at the dive shop at 7 a.m. and I wanted to get some, you know, decent sleep. I managed to get six hours and three quarters, which I don't think is actually too bad considering that like when I went to sleep, the music from the hostel bar was so loud and pumping. I was like, oh boy, there's no soundproofing in this room whatsoever. But you know what? I was actually so tired. I was sleeping through. So quite a lot of it anyway so it is 6 45 in the morning and i am walking to spondylus i've decided to dive with spondylus just because literally it was just like a, a little bit of google research and looking at reviews and things and these guys seem to be really well reviewed and recommended which is why i chose them to do some diving in mancora and i'm excited to get out in the water though i've heard that it's freezing i'm gonna try if they let me double up on wetsuits because I typically get very cold in the water anyway. Yeah, hopefully see some fun fish. Can you see the turtle? Probably not. So we've been dropped off the Port de los Organicos, which is where we're going to be setting off in the boat for the diving. And there's a turtle right here. I think this place is uh, famous for some turtles. Oh, I'm excited. We're going to sit on the edge and then we're going to slide in. Can you see the sea lions here? Yeah. Oh. So we've rocked up at our first dive site. It's this old abandoned oil rig. Can you tell us about this oil rig? Yeah, it's been here since 1989. 1989. And basically it's an artificial reef that goes down to 61 meters. Wow. <laughs> we just saw like a load of sea lions just like dive into the water. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a cool dive. Though I don't want to get my hopes up because that's when you get disappointed.
a cool dive! A lot of fish. I think I got some really cool shots of the fish. And so many sea lions! I've never dived with sea lions before. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, and the water was not as cold as I thought it was going to be. I did. I was getting cold towards the end, but we have five millimeter wetsuits on, so it was okay. And now we've been given some biscuits. <laughs> Got a bit of a rest time before we do our second dive. It's nice to be in the water though, really nice. Okay, we're just walking up at the next dive site. It's much closer to the shore, so we should see some different sea life. Estoy aquí con Daniel. We have come. Hemos venido. Venido. Hemos venido del Wawa. Es un restaurante que uh, tenemos una recomendación para almuerzo. Oh gosh, my sandwich is falling apart already. <laughs> it's good though. I haven't had many sandwiches here. I've got like a, I think like a fried shrimp sandwich. That's pretty good. And we're on the search once again for an iced caramel latte. Not easy to find. Iced latte, yes, easy. Caramel, not so easy. But how nice is this beach? They're surfing here. And actually, I think the surfing looks better here than in Juan Checo, dare I say. Maybe I'm gonna have to try it tomorrow. There's a surf school here. Surf point. Oh, they have drinks, gin tonic, or oh, no, pisco sour por 25. This town, it's cool. Hola. Oh. Ya, ya comimos. Gracias. They're all keen, keen to get you in the restaurants here. No me gusta cilantro. Buenos días a todos. Estoy con Daniel. Hola, Daniel. Hola. I got so burnt the first day that I was here in Mancora. It's actually embarrassing how, bad, how burnt I got. And also just so like, be careful what you wish for because I came here because I wanted a tan and then on the first day I just get so burnt. Because the thing is I've got no base tan whatsoever right now. It's annoying, but I'm also not surprised. I had factor 50 on. I think I just didn't top it up enough. But anyway. I'm gonna go out again now, try and tan the areas which are not burnt. And uh, Danielle and I are gonna take some photos by the pool because sometimes it's nice to get some nice Instagram photos. All right, let's go. Fusion. We want sushi, so we've come here. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. What? That's really big. Oh. Oh, no. What the hell? Iguanas. In the wild, in Mancora. ¿Sabes el nombre de este lugar? Iguana Spa. Iguana Spa? <laughs> That's a good name. 
de Iguanas Bar, donde le, las personas sin ropas vienen en la noche. Es un secreto por los españoles en mis seguidores. No voy a traducir esta frase. What is cursing? We are once again on the hunt for an iced caramel latte and it seems, having now visited about 10 cafes in town, which looked promising, there is no iced caramel lattes in town. They often don't know what it is. Um, so there's a gap in the market. If you're planning on opening a cafe in Mangora, please make there be iced caramel lattes. There are people literally crawling around the town trying to find one. People is me. There he is, the man, the legend, Daniel. <laughs> Um, apparently there's going to be a salsa class on at Selena soon and I'd quite like to do it, that sounds fun. And then there's karaoke this evening, which I'd also like to do, that also sounds fun. But I can't get too crazy tonight because I've just booked myself a surf class for the morning. So I am going to do some surfing here in Mancora just because it's my final day. So I actually leave tomorrow, but I'm going to do the class before I catch my flight. It's my final day and time by the beach in Peru. So. I want to make the most of it and I thought that the surfing, like I was watching other people surf the other day and I thought it actually looked like really good, the waves look really good. So yeah, I put myself a little private class, which I'll do in the morning. So we can't get too crazy tonight, however we can have some fun. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's a brownie. brownie. A happy brownie, I guess. <gasps> no, it's not a happy brownie, it's just a regular brownie. Okay, you got it. Mm but it's a brownie that's making me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> everybody got up quite early this morning about quarter past six uh, to pack my bag before doing this surf lesson it's another beautiful morning in Mancora just got myself a takeaway coffee from the Selena bar to walk down the beach with and they've given it me in this cup because they don't have like just like a standard takeaway cup which is fine I actually feel pretty fresh I've been having like somewhat early mornings here in Mancora and early nights which is surprising because this Selena is definitely a party hostel, but every single night I've just been feeling so tired. You know, it's 8 p.m., I'm having dinner, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go out and have fun. And then literally like 10 p.m. hits, and I'm like, I'm so tired. I really, really wanna sleep. And then so I just go to sleep, which is great, and then I wake up feeling super refreshed. Also, last night, like, I had a little bit of a sore stomach, but I wasn't sure why. And I thought, you know what, if I go out this is just gonna make this stomach so much worse so I didn't do that karaoke unfortunately it sounds lots of flies around a dead fish anyway it sounded fun I could hear the karaoke from my bed but I was quite happy to be in bed actually I didn't have the FOMO I was like oh I'm glad of this anyway Walking down the beach to my surf lesson, which I booked yesterday, just found like a surf school uh, on the beach. There's like quite a few of them down in, near the main town and it's costing 70 soles for a private class, exactly the same price as what it was in Juan Chaco. And I did say to them, I was like, look, I've done now three classes in Juan Chaco very recently. I can stand up on the board, like I can do it, but I still don't have like 100% confidence. So I just want someone there who can push me and also maybe film me. I've brought my, bought my little adventure GoPro as well. So let's go surfing. This kid right here is one of the best in Peru for his age, only 10 years old. 
this nice wave here. Hey! <laughs> My instructor paddles for me. This is the best. This is the kushti, the kushti surfing. <laughs> There's a lot of seaweed on the floor, so it's hard. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Gracias, Jorge. Well, that was nice. I'm really, really glad that I got out on the water this morning. The waves are super easy here. Like, well, maybe I'm just saying that because I had a huge board. It was 10 foot and I didn't even have to paddle because my instructor Jorge had his flippers and he was just basically paddling for me, which was absolutely glorious. So it was a really nice way of just like having a nice little surf class and not having to worry about having wipeouts and just knowing that I was catching waves. Uh, but the waves were really nice here. There's like not too many and so you can relax a little bit in between the waves and you're not getting wiped out loads when you're paddling like back into the water really really nice i would actually recommend this as a destination for beginners but he was really complimenting me on my technique and he was like who taught you and i was like chicho chicho and muchik school in juan chaco is the best surf teacher jorge was very impressed by my technique and i was very proud because i was like yes i've worked hard on this in juan chaco it was good i'm really 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 glad that I did that. So now back to the hostel, pack my bags and we got to catch a flight today. So I've made a bit of a traveling faux pas in just the fact that I have not left enough time to get to the airport for my flight. Well I have but basically if I were to get a Collectivo and um, that costs just 20 soles to Talara Airport, that's where I'm going. The thing is, it can take two hours or more. And for me, if I get there in over two hours, there's a chance of me missing my flight, which is obviously not ideal. And I would rather just pay a bit more in order to secure the fact that I'm actually gonna make this flight. And um, there are options where it's like a bit like a van and you've got a few other people, but I couldn't quite figure out where to catch that from if I'm completely honest I probably should have just asked a few more people but I didn't this is this is the whole traveling faux pas that I'm telling you about anyway so I, I'm in a taxi which would normally cost 150 but he's taking me for 120 it's gonna take like an hour and 15 minutes so yeah 120 dollars a bit more than I was hoping to pay this morning but say la vie it's my own fault it really is my own fault for not leaving enough time and not doing enough research sometimes that happens on your backpacking and with that I'm going to end this video i hope you guys really enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you did find it useful or enjoyed it uh next stop is going to be iquito so i actually have two flights this afternoon um to lima and then to iquitos and then that will be my last stop in peru so yeah stay tuned to see what happens on the rest of my journey and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye